September 11th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Timothy chapter 3 from the New Testament. But understand this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, slanders without self-control, savage, opposed to what is good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, loving pleasure rather than loving God. They will maintain the outward appearance of religion, but will have repudiated its power, so avoid people like this. For some of these insinuated themselves into households and captivate weak women who are overwhelmed with sins and led along by various passions. Such women are always seeking instruction, yet never able to arrive at a knowledge of the truth. And just as Janus and Jambres oppose Moses, so these people who have warped minds and are disqualified in the faith also oppose the truth. But they will not go much further, for their foolishness will be obvious to everyone, just like it was with Janus and Jambres. You, however, have followed my teaching, my way of life, my purpose, my faith, my patience, my love, my endurance, as well as the persecutions and sufferings that happened to me in Antioch, in Iconium, and in Lystra. I endured these persecutions, and the Lord delivered me from them all. Now, in fact, all who want to live godly lives in Christ Jesus will be persecuted, but evil people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived themselves. You, however, must continue in the things you have learned and are confident about. You know who taught you and how from infancy you have known the holy writings, which are able to give you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. Every scripture is inspired by God and useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the person dedicated to God may be capable and equipped for every good work. God, it's interesting that this list starts with things we love other than you and it ends with things that we love other than you. And kind of everything in between has nothing to do with you. Lovers of money, lovers of themselves, people who are arrogant, are loving to others, uh, loving pleasure, having no self-control. These aren't just end of times type of list, although they definitely... Um, can be applied to then but they are now we see that all over I see that even in me at times when I choose my selfishness over your will when I choose my sin over all that you have given me God this is a good reminder of where our heart should be um, and what our steps should look like and if our steps are out of sync with this list as well as other things in the Bible but out of sync with this list we need to open up our hearts to you, open up our, our lives to you. You already know everything that is going on in our lives. You already know that we're choosing sin over you, that we're choosing a different life or lifestyle or path than what it is that you want us to do. But now it's time to examine the why part. Why are we doing that? Why are we choosing sin over all that you can give us, God? God, help us to... To allow that process to happen, to allow you to come into our lives and show us not only clearly what we're doing wrong, but more importantly, how to fix it so we can get back on track with you. All of us have done things on that list. Some of us have done everything on that list, and I certainly don't want it to be that my life looks like end of times type of behavior, um, especially to non-believers. I want my life to reflect your glory, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.